Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? I hope you're all doing well today. Today I was going through some of my old notes and I found my OSCP notes. Now OSCP, I did that way back in 2019, so it's been a while and some of these things might be a bit outdated, but the general outline should still be the same. Also remember that Active Directory is added now. I don't have that in my enumeration stuff here. Here you see a very nice enumeration mind map. I will put this in the description below this link if it still works of course otherwise I will just upload the image myself again. But this has been proving very very useful as you can see HTTP is often your biggest attack surface. So you also have a lot of scanners available there. Same for HTTPS. When it comes to SMB, you can see that there's also quite a bit of a, like there's a lot that you can do here. And with SMB enum, they also listed what you're looking for. So you have SMB enum null sessions, SMB enum sessions, SMB enum groups, SMB enum users, your admins, your shares, and your policies. With Nmap, you can check for SMB vulnerabilities and pull enum, SAM or dump and BT scan enum for Linux and manual browsing are very good for this. When it comes to LDAP, they have LDAP search here. There's a lot more, of course, so you might have to dig a little bit deeper for that. When it comes to MySQL, they talk about MySQL vulnerability, MySQL default, so there isn't really a whole lot you can do there. It's same for MS SQL. Um, and Postgres, Oracle, these are basically databases, so you're looking for database vulnerabilities. NFS, NFS show mount for file share. Then we have FTP as well. Of course, there's much more that you have to look for, but this is just an overview. RDP with RDP sec check and N crack. Then we have SNMP with SNMP check and SMTP with SMTP enum verify, SMTP enum exception and SMTP enum receipt. We have also got RPC with RPC info on here. So this might prove useful to you. I'll put that again in the link in the description. Another tool I really like is Auto Recon by Tiberius. Um, and then we have HTTP enum zoomed in a little bit. This isn't everything once again, but it might be useful. So I always start off with Nikto for mapping the files. Nikto dash host. So what am I saying? Mapping the files. Of course, Nikto is a vulnerability scanner. So that's not quite correct there. Check robots.txt file, of course, for site mapping. Um, then we have burp for their spider ability. They don't have that anymore. You can't use that either. So ignore that line. Navigating to the slash and then a, um, I don't know, squirrely, like, I don't know what the name of that is, a root. Um, use curl to find out what web server slash app you're interacting with. That's also a good one. And then use GoBuster to map out the directories. You don't have to use GoBuster. You can use Fuff or anything for that. WFuzz. Checking the source code. This is always a big one, especially for your OSCP. So do this. And you can use Cool John or Hydra for password cracking, not password generation, of course. If there are vulnerable CMSs or JavaScript versions, we can check for that. And if there's a login page, we can check for default credentials. For example, if this is a login page to a specific software, we can see if that software has default credentials when you install it. SQL injection is something we can also look for. Command injection in PHP with, for example, the PHP exec function. If you have user input that is fed into there, you might be able to make a reverse shell. LFI, RFI to execute your payload and then your file uploads such as web.config, ASPX, PHP, PHP3, PHT, ASPX, TXT, all extensions. You can try to use them to bypass filters. RCE, of course, that's a big one, but that is a big one and there's a lot that you can do there. Looking for configuration files if you have them, it's like a gold mine for us. Looking for hidden data on image tags and CGI bin file enumeration.
Next up, we move to WebDAV. There's basically only one thing that I have here. Um, Google it. I'm not very, very diligent with my notes. You will see this. I'm just going over what I had at the time because I think it might help somebody. SMB enumeration is a big one as well. Here you wanna enumerate the host names, list the shares that you have with SMB map dash H. Then you want to, again, that's also a possibility, this echo exit L, um, SMB client dash L and then dash backslash 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 your IP. Um, in this case, the exit takes care of any password requests that might pop up because we're going for a null login and dash L gets a list of the shares on that host. Similarly, you have a script for Nmap below that. Checking your null sessions is a big one. SMB map dash H can be used for that. And that will show you the shares uh, on the host as well as your access to them. If you got credentials, you can rerun to show new access. Of course, if you then use RPC client dash U, then uh, double quote for a null session uh, and then dash N your IP address for your no password. Uh, you can do the same. You can try the same to check for null sessions. And you can also do that with SMB client. So you have different tools available for you. You can check for the vulnerabilities with the nmap script, uh, nmap dash dash script, SMB vuln, and then a star and asterisk, dash p for the ports 139 and 445, because that's where SMB or server messaging block can appear. You can also do an overall scan with enum for Linux dash A and some example outputs might be output similar to MB and MB lookup, checking for null sessions, listing shares, um, domain information, password policy, RID cycling output and more. And you also have manual recon, of course. For PHP, and I've ordered these in a tech surface order. So the, the, of the higher up they are, the more that I might be going against these. Uh, so that's why you will see that these top ones have more than the bottom ones. But for FTP, we can do version detection with Nmap. We can also, if you're locked into the machine, try to con get the configuration file because configuration files are super useful to us, of course. Anonymous login is also possible. Always try that um, because some lazy admin might put it open. You can use search exploit or Google to look for FTP version exploits, but you need to know the version, of course. You can try FTP brute forcing with Hydra, uh, and you can try to, these are the commands, get put, those are for when you're logged in. You can do a get or mget or put or mput uh, for uploading or downloading any good files. If you're locked into the machine, you can also get the SSH key files, for example. Um, and if there are any security files available, you can explore the system, maybe overwrite some password files with password files that you've generated, making you able to log into SSH. Talk about SSH, you can try to find a public exploit for the SSH version with SSH user at and then your IP address. Uh, or you can use Searchploit, SSH, or Google. Uh, you also have Nmap scripts available, once again, really useful tool. And when you're on the machine, echo the host to which you can connect with this command right here. This is possible because known hosts contain previously connected instances and authorized keys can contain a key file, making it unnecessary to log in using credentials. That can be used for chaining targets if you need it. SSH brute forcing is also possible with Hydra, being hydra-l logins.txt-p password.txt and then dash m your targets.txt ssh. SSH key files, these are important ones of course, you can insert your own maybe, and there's also the shell shock exploit, but that's a kernel exploit I believe, and that's not available on the exam. For DNS, you can do nmap DNS hostname lookup with the command nmap f dns, then the DNS server. You can do host lookup with host t ns megacorp1.com. You can perform DNS IP lookups. Uh, you can, with dict that is, you can also do the same for MX records. You can do zone transfers with dict. It's a really useful tool in that regard. You can also do Windows DNS zone transfers with NS lookup. Um, and then you can also do that same for Linux 
with the DIG tool once again. DNS Recon is a useful tool for DNS brute forcing um, and also for getting just a DNS list that is available. Then we have NFS. You can show the mountable NFS shares with nmap sv script equals nfs dash show mount ip and then you have show mount as well which is a tool which you can use um which is a option for you as well for rpc with rpc enumeration you can use rpc client with different commands here or you can use ms03-026 microsoft rpc decom interface overflow that is if you have an overflow of course for SMTP, you have your version detection and public exploits. You can connect with Netcat. It might give you a banner. You can do uh, user enumeration with SMTP-user-enum, and then you have the commands right here. Uh, you can also do email domain identification with the same tool, and you can use the finger tool to know more about it. Then we have POP3. With POP3, we can retrieve data through Telnet. We have the user, we have the password, then we can list um, and we can retry one. That's a command we can execute as well. For MySQL, we have some Nmap scripts available for us. Um, they're really useful. They're listed here. Um, you can use them or you can just do um, MS dash star. That's also a possibility or MySQL dash asterisk asterisk is a star uh, and you can also brute force again with mysql basically hydra is a really useful tool for that brute forcing over the network and you can connect to a remote mysql service with the command like you see right there then for fingerprinting finger enumeration using the finger dash user dash enum dot pl so it's a perl script you might have to download it and then you have your options here with some useful sec list here, usernames slash names. For SNMP, we don't have a lot here either. It's just SNMP enumeration commands might be useful. You know the deal, Google if you find something uh, for that version specifically. And for Oracle here, you can see SID enumeration using ODAT and password enumeration as well. LDAP, again, there's much, much more advanced now than it was when I did it but it is a very useful like LDAP search in my time it was a little bit useful let me put it that way in general I don't have a whole lot here I have some scripts steps to gather information your passive information gathering going to Google doing an email harvest to who is enumeration your active enumeration with your DNS enumeration being your forward lookup reverse lookup and your zone transfers your port scanning using TCP connect, SYN scanning, UDP scanning, port scanning with Nmap regularly with all ports. We can do OS fingerprinting there and banner grabbing and NSE, the Nmap scripting engine. For SMB enumeration, I have that Nmap uh, script as well. We have those Nmap scripts and NBT scan. And we have SMTP enumeration, SNMP enumeration. If a website is vulnerable uh, or is there's a website, you can do Durbuster, you can harvest for emails. I started HTTP enum, but as you can see, I already gave up pretty quickly. SMB enum is a little bit better, not a whole lot. Enumerate host names, list the shares, check for null sessions, check for vulnerabilities and overall scan manual inspection as you can see it is a lot like it was before uh, for buffer overflows um, I don't think I have a full step-by-step -step guide I should have it somewhere um, but not particularly fast available and I don't think there's really anything else I can show you from my notes but I hope you enjoyed I might give you a link if you want let me know in the comments below if you want I can put a link in uh, the um, in the Jesus uh, the description, that's what I wanted to say, and uh, then you guys can view this as well. Now, I hope you enjoyed so far. Uh, don't forget to leave me a like, please. It's much appreciated, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, amazing hackers.